Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Clockwork Empires. So I originally backed this uh, on Kickstarter. I, 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 hell knows how long ago. Um, I've since played the uh, a very, very, very early alpha and uh, it had merit but, uh, but still had quite a long way to go. We're in alpha 42 now. Um, it's a bit further along. I haven't really tried it out yet, but uh, we're going to we're going to give it a spin. Um, if you like the looks of what you see, then say the word and we'll continue with it. Uh, if you don't like the looks of what you see, then we won't continue with it. We'll move on to bigger and brighter things. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so it takes a couple of minutes. <coughs> So it takes a couple of minutes to uh, to load a game up. I mean, it's still fairly early. It's uh, it's probably chewing on itself in the background, but uh, I figured I'd walk you through the tutorial, such as it is, to start with, uh, just so that you can get a feel for the game. Um, okay, so I mean, it's all very in keeping with the kind of steampunk Cthulhu Eldritch esque. Uh, you know, uh, the look and feel of the thing. Um, you know, your the basic principle is you're setting up a colony. Uh, and it's all steampunk. There you go. That's all you need to know. So uh, this is the Prudent Bureaucrat's Guide to Colonization. Now, obviously, if this was properly British, that would be an S, but there you go. Uh, right, bureaucracy. So this is basically just, you know, this standard standard uh, tutorial fare. It's all about setting up work crews and then giving those work crews uh, a job to do, you know, sending them off to do, go and do work. And hoping that too many bad guys don't come around and, and eat your face off. Uh, and this is very much, I mean, I've played the game before, and it's very much about uh, bad guys eating your face off. When I played before, you know, I could rarely get further than an hour before I was, you know, head in my hands on my desk because the whole thing had just gone to hell. So here we go. So, you know, some of the construction paths, you've you get the idea. You can pause if you want to read these. I'm I'm not one of those people that like to read everything out loud for you. I, I, I think that, you know, you can do that for yourself. Okay, right. Uh, for, just get some money. Watch out for bandits. Marvellous. I'm just checking to see if there's anything I didn't already know. And the fact that it's got a tutorial in now is actually, uh, uh, you know, that's a bit of a difference. Uh, anything else? No, nope, we're all done. Okay, so we're off and running. Now, uh, Her Majesty will be occasionally sending uh, extra supplies to keep my chaps uh, well nourished. Um, but we want to get to the point where uh, where we can do that for ourselves. Interesting. Okay, so camera rotation is, uh, is uh, kind of a, a 90 degrees at a time affair. Okay, right. Oh, well, oh, they've, they've added a, a fair deal more on here. But first thing I want to do is I want to build a stockpile. So a stockpile's quite handy. I mean, you can probably guess what it does. You're all relatively smart people. Um, a stockpile's where you keep all your stuff. So we'll, we'll go bash up a quick stockpile to start with. Uh, and then you can filter exactly what each stockpile actually holds on to. Um, and uh, you know any unassigned workers will uh, will get to work on picking up the bits and pieces and, and transferring them to the stockpile. I know, cunning. There you go. See, bit of bread. Now, the other thing that I found having uh, having played this before was that if you don't get a wriggle on, uh, the world can go. It can all go quite horrible quite quickly. So I'm gonna get some uh, get a bunkhouse up first off. This looks like a relatively safe area, although I have no idea how safe it is, because the uh, the dreaded fish people will uh, will be coming to uh, pay me a, a visit before too long. Uh, right, look, there's a. Oh no, hold on, there we go. I'm still building my bunkhouse. So here we go. Designing the bunkhouse pops up at the top left. I'm pretty sure you probably noticed it. We need some wood. We need some stone go and then we need to add a door so we'll add, we'll add the door just there so people can get in and out and some beds uh, right click to right click to rotate pretty much what you'd expect now anybody that you don't assign a house will quite happily sleep on the floor I mean don't get me wrong that 
this has got a, a Sims-esque element to it in that uh, your, your, your little people around town have, uh, have personalities. And, uh, and, and actually, it's, that's one of the, the one of the more entertaining bits about it is that the the personalities they have, you know, they could end up being embroiled in all kinds of mayhem. Right, good. I'm done with that. Uh, what do we say now? What uh, I'm done here. There we go. Get to work. All right, we're gonna need some wood. Where's my chop wood button? Get rid of that. There we go chop down aspens now if you drag I seem to recall there we go so we can we can it, it lifts uh, lists everything that is uh, available to do and we're going to chop down all these trees because we're going to need the wood this would appear to be a dodo fantastic that's a that's another new addition uh, right what next I want a, a carpentry workshop next so again, that's going to be quite handy to, to keep near my near my stockyard. And the cost of individual uh, buildings is very much reliant on uh, uh, the size you decide to make it. That makes sense. You got that? Thought you might. And then in here we can stick some carpentry bench action. And we only really need one to start with, and we'll also have a standing desk. There we are. Alright, good. I'm happy with that. Get to work. Okay, and then we're also going to need a kitchen. So obviously, uh, you know, th these are, you know, these are fundamentals to, to any game of this, this, this variety. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to, to make what we need in order to, to keep my people alive. Let's put that in there, and a stone oven, yes. Now, it, would be, it would, might, might be nice to have an iron oven, but uh, I want to save my iron for the time being. There you go, alright, you're done, get to work. So, I've probably queued up enough tasks for the time being. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna definitely going to need some more stone, I think. Now, what I, I seem to recall from last time is uh, that you don't want to queue up too much. Mine some rhyolite. I just want rock. What have we got over here? More rhyolite. No, no, no I'm not so interested in rhyolite. Uh, that, um, the other thing, of course, is that you know you're going to need a carpenter's in order to turn logs into planks. You're going to need um, yeah, your kitchen in order to get some food on the go. And anytime you kill something, you do leave bits on the floor. So equally, uh, if your villagers, uh, brace yourself for this, if your villagers happen to snuff it, um, you, uh, you may find particularly hungry members of your, uh, your community deciding to get stuck in and, and uh, eat that. Why are you so happy? This is what I mean by my personality. You, I think it's our Elvira, was it? Or was it Drusilla? Anyway, uh, let's let's move on. Let's uh, let's look at our work crews. So, at the moment, we've got we've got a bunch of people all in the same crew. They're overseer, overseer. These are all overseers. So an overseer, I think as you probably get the idea, is, is they're the people who will look after new teams. Uh, right, we need to assign a crew. Let's, uh, let's put Miss, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Tack here. We're going to assign her to the workshop. This is the Upright Lathe Carpentry Workshop. In fact, well, when it's finished, I'll, I'll assign her. Let's keep spinning around. I don't know about you, but, but if I'm not stuck in the default view, I, I tend to get terribly lost. Uh, right, if I if I tell her, do I click her? Unassigned, uh, Mrs. Tack and your chaste, chaste slides. Chaste slides, Mrs. Tack's chaste slides. 
more challenging than one might think. Right, let's get 10 planks ordered. Increased quantity. What? Is this people snuffing it? Or, 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 or what's going on here? No, we all, we all seem to be good. So Birdie Tack is happy to consider Drusilla Hexum a friend. Well, that's that's lovely. You should be... Mrs. I say Mrs. Tack. You, you should be assigned to the... Uh, workshop and then we can assign additional workers to her work group as we get them and we don't have them yet that's a that's a change to the one that I'm familiar with because a re look at you you who is this this is Drusilla Hexum she's a gossip monger uh, she's happy she's eager to fight for Queen and country good she's of sound mind okay what does she desire uh, she's hoping to join uh, an enjoyable social group for a cult ritual I'm not convinced that that's the best thing for her to do. Anyway, she felt tired. She wants to. <laughs> she wants to obtain a middle-class bed. Well, good luck with that, folks. Do you fancy going to sleep anytime soon? Hunt the animals. So my my NCO is going to go out and hunt the animals now. I think. Yes. Okay. So back to work crews again. We can. Uh, Let's, uh, you're not farming, you're not foraging. Ah, disable, disable. Uh, and then, uh, construction, hunting, hauling, rally, forestry. No, because you're assigned to a workshop. So basically you can assign people skills that they, or, or you can assign people activities that they will and will not do. So, I've gained some prestige simply for being alive beyond the first day. Go us. Um, but we need to, you know, we need to up the tempo a little bit here. So we've got seven cloth, six planks, and a pistol, some sausages. I do worry a little bit about food. We probably ought to get a farm on the go today, but, you know, we've still got yesterday's jobs still being completed. And quite why we're, we're storing all these logs in... Uh, in the bunkhouse, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, there we go. Right, let's move some of these around. Mr. Rivet, are you, what are your capabilities? He's materialistic and morbid. Oh. Well, that's, that's, that's jolly good. Carpentry, terrible. He's terrible at everything. In which case, I'm going to assign him a... a, a let's take him off car, and that, and that. Right, construction and mining and hauling. That's all you're going to do, Mr. F uh, Mr. Rivet. Right? That's that's your uh, reason for reason for being. Oh, hello, Auto Save. Thank you for for, to, for joining us. Right. See, see, look. Oh, look at this this happy young lady here. It's, this is Mr. Hexham again. Yes. It's a bit of a worry. I mean, she's interested in the exotic wilderness, which is where she is, so, you know, I guess that's, uh, I don't know, I guess that's, that's okay. She's far too happy to be, to, to be assigned anything important, though. I, I don't trust people who are happy all the time. Ah, I've got my rolling door working, that's, that's a good start. This would be Mr, Mr. Rivet Wright, getting, getting his job done now. Jolly good. Come on, folks. Trot on. So, uh, everything's all, you, you know, it's all fabulously in keeping with, uh, with the setting. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's all rather splendid. Now, what I, sh what I had before, which I don't seem to have had this time, is, is you would get an invitation from the Crown uh, to, to take some more people on board. Uh, and, uh, and that, oh, hello, you're, you're all chipper as well. Oh, really? Is you Miss, Mrs. Tack? Is that you? Yeah, it is Mrs. Tack. There we go. Uh, she's got uh, she's got friends. She is terrible at everything, but that's probably because she's swanning about waiting for the carpentry workshop to be finished. Um, so she doesn't actually have an awful lot to do at the moment. With the workshop done and with the uh, ah, here we go. 
carpentry workbench coming up. And then we can get some more planks being made. Planks are fundamental to our continued success. Now, I need to get some food on the go. Right, stop, you know, procrastinating. Let's uh, let's go out there and buy a field. Uh, give me this. Get rid of the crews. Field. I want to build a field. It'll be around here somewhere. Flat and stop my farm. Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe it's building a farm. No, cancel. Alright, let's try it again and let's put it in a sensible place this time. Okay, now, with all these trees and what have you out of the way, I think this is a good place for a farm. I and mean, one thing that, that is, you know, relatively valuable to do to begin with is to... Uh, did that... Uh, did that accomplish anything? I don't think that accomplished anything. Farm. Well, there we go. Well, that's that's you know that's set up a plot of land there, uh, and then uh, let's uh, let's do another one. It would be nice if you were to you know do a bit of grid snappage there. Uh, let's go that way. One more. That bit. There we go. Right. Good. Then we can click on the farm, and then we can tell it what we want it to grow. Uh, so, cabbages, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's, uh, wheat, it's all about wheat. And on the other one, we'll go with, uh, let's go with some cabbages because they're relatively low maintenance. So there might be some, some clearing needs to, oh, there we go, you know, Vertiline uh, Cord Twix uh, is, uh, is working on the farm there. Which is exactly the kind of behaviour we want, and uh, joining her is Drusilla Hexum. You know, is, uh, Happy, happy Drusilla. Right, good. As you can now see, Felix has, has you, know, you see, a, a bit of free rotation is, is the norm, but that's okay. Birdie is getting cracking on the uh, on the task of, of making me some planks. That's like a cracking job. Felix is having a little lie down now. Thanks, Felix. Uh, you've done a great job, but... Uh, you know, if you were to get a wriggle on, uh, these beds would be made, and then you'd then you'd have something proper to sleep in. <clears throat> okay, well, okay. So people are just going for a, a nap wherever they can, uh, <laughs> wherever there's a, a roof. All right, marvelous. Oh, hello. Oh, let's uh, oh, let's forage. Let's forage. Foraging is a is a thing that people do. Got some clay so we can make bricks. What are these? Yes. Okay. Black cap fungus. We'll uh, we'll forage that as well. Anything else here we can forage? Uh, what I like is this bandboxing kind of approach where you know you you elastic band the thing and it will allow you to draw everything. See, it strikes me that at this time of day, it, this is a remarkably unsafe state of affairs where everybody's basically flaked out inside what what houses we have but hey I'm not going to I'm not going to over criticize here uh, and then let's mine those surface nodes it's more than enough jobs to keep people busy we don't want to expand our our sphere of influence too far too quickly because uh, doing so may uh, may reveal some 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 bad chaps uh, the, the fishmen is the most likely people we're going to encounter. And also, you know, also entertaining is the fact that, you know, it's night time and the game's still running. Well, here we go. Day three. Uh, you know, we, we gained another point of prestige because the colony's still alive. Let's celebrate that. Here we go. So, here we go. Uh, what send the usual number of colony. We're going to recruit, receive two immigrants. Smashing. We're going to get them to work. You, you, yes, you. You're a labourer. No, you could. You don't get to work with Mrs. Tack. Mrs. Tack doesn't need the help. 
because this tack can work solo. Now, how do I, uh, how do I, how do I, ah, there we go, remove work. However, Mr. Rivet, right? Uh, yeah, it's all about Mr. Rivet, right? And in fact, I'm going to make uh, Mrs. Hexham is going to be our farmer of choice. So there we go. Let's disable everything else. You can haul stuff still, because obviously, you know, once she's uh, once she's harvested, we want her to uh, transport the stuff somewhere helpful. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, that's Clockwork Empires. Um, Clockwork Empire Empires. There might be more than one of them. Uh, I'm going to uh, hold on. What have we got here? Uh, the Imperial Airship Corps reports that an unidentified group has been spotted approaching my colony. Well, crumbs. Uh, well, so uh, there you go. That'll that'll wrap it up. Let me know if you want to see some more. Uh, I can carry on playing this through. I don't know, uh, you know, how alpha -y it is. It's you know, it's got some some alpha s uh, qualities to it. But uh, when I first started playing, it was pretty good. And now it's, you know, it's a bit better than that. So, uh, you know, I, I hold out high hope. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Tune in in the future. Leave a subscribe. Chuck us a like. Bung us a comment. Make yourself a cup of tea. I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. This, this, this.